Welcome to the video tutorial on how to disable insecure protocols on your Ubiquiti in VR. These instructions will work the same whether you're on uh, a Ubiquiti hardware appliance or whether you built your own Linux in VR. On Windows you'll have to find the same file we're going to edit and make the changes, but it should be relatively the same. So, the first thing we want to do is we're going to test our NVR. And to do that, we're going to go over to https colon slash slash www.sslabs.com slash SSL test. And what this is going to do, it's going to test our server. It's going to tell us what is uh, the capabilities of our server are. It's going to show us if there's any problems. Uh, this is a really good tool. I suggest that you use it if you have internet facing servers that use uh, any sort of secure communication over uh, a web browser. So we're going to go ahead and put our server in here. And we'll let this run. I ran the test earlier so you see that we have to clear it, uh, the cache. But for those of you who do have an NVR and or any other device that faces the internet and you are concerned about security or you have um, compliance issues that you need to attend to such as PCI. Uh, PCI is a huge driver um, in my 9 to 5. Um, and PCI came uh, last year and told us that we could no longer use SSL uh, version 3 or TLS 1 and that the date was uh, June 2016. So uh, we wrote a plan to have that mitigated by then, and they've come back and they found uh, through feedback that that may not be possible. So if you are, if you have to be PCI uh, compliant, the deadline is June 30, 2018. Although if you can do it quicker, uh, I would not wait until the last minute. Go back to our test. It's about 30% complete. Now it's 79. Man, that was quick. It's almost done. I do want to mention something while we wait for this. If you are running the Ubiquiti uh, NVR appliance and you've not just browsed to the IP of that appliance in a web browser, I encourage you to do that. They do have a really nice tool for changing the root password of the device built in, um, or you could SSH in and change the password that way. You SSH in as root, default password of UBNT, and then you issue the PASSWD command, and it'll allow you to change that root password. And that is something that should always be done. Uh, it is not a good idea to run default usernames and passwords. So our scan is done. And we got an A minus uh, because the server does not support forward secrecy. And we can adjust our uh, ciphers and we can probably get this to an A or an A plus. But let's go down and look. And right now, our server supports TLS 1, 1 1.1, and 1.2. So um, I'm the only one that browses to this. So we are actually going to going to take out uh, all the protocols except for TLS 1.2. So we tested our NVR and now we're going to disable any insecure protocols. So we're going to SSH in. Um, if, you're, if you are running a Windows NVR you're going to want to find the server.xml file and you'll remove the exact same information that we're running. I don't run the Windows NVR, so I guess I'm making a huge assumption that this is the same file. But based on what I've seen uh, of the Unify controller itself, I would say it's a pretty good bet that you're going to locate this same file. If somebody out there in Radio Land knows that I'm wrong, please let me know. Okay, so here is an SSH. I'm SSH'd into uh, my NVR, which um, you can see is running Linux. It is not the Ubiquiti appliance. 
but the file is located in the exact same place. So we're going to go to the the USR lib unify video conf directory. And we are going to edit the server.xml file. Now if you are running uh, regu a regular Linux install, not the Ubiquity in VR, and you're not logging in as root, which I don't suggest logging in as root unless you really, really know what you're doing, and then it's probably not a good idea. Um, so if you do have the, the Ubiquity uh, in VR, I do suggest creating a secondary user to run in and do, uh, to log in and do maintenance tasks. But um, we are going to, you know, use the commands here that we usually do when we don't run as root. So you'll you'll see that here. And it's going to ask me for my password. Oh. Uh, I forgot to put in the, the name of the editor there. I do use Nano or Pico. Uh, a lot of people use Vi. I'm not a big, big, big Vi fan. Um, but that doesn't mean that it won't work for you. Uh, my instructions here are built around Nano. So you're going to scroll down. And you're going to find this line that says SSL enabled protocols. And you can see we've got TLS version 1.2, TLS version 1.1, and TLS version 1. I am actually, since I am the only one that, that goes to this, I am actually going to take out everything but the 1.2. And I keep my web browsers up to date. Control O is going to allow us to write the file out. I'm just going to hit enter there. Control X will stop it. I am going to stop and restart the Unify video server. And we're going to bring our uh, browser back and you remember right here you see that uh, 1.1 and 1 are enabled we're gonna go up here and we're gonna hit clear the cache on this guy it's gonna go ahead and rerun the test by the way while we wait uh, if you if you uh, are here because you're interested in ubiquity maybe you've never been over to the ubiquity community uh, the website is community.ubnt.com. There's a great group of people over there. The support is fantastic. Uh, make yourself a username and, and check it out. And we are at retesting the NVR. Still got that A minus. We'll uh, do another video later. Talk talks about how to uh, take care of that forward secrecy. I will have a whole line of PCI compliance videos coming out. Uh, something that I deal with on a day to day basis. We're gonna scroll down and look. TLS 1.2 is the only protocol enabled. So. Uh, if this video helped you out, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, head over to the uh, Ubiquity community, check it out, and I uh, hope to see you back next time.